what the heck is a wrist lock putter grip? Let's get into it. Hey guys, Tyson with Golf Ascending. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Brady and I upload golf content every week. And today we are reviewing, or I am reviewing, the Super Stroke Wrist Lock Grip. Now, you guys may have seen this pop up. Uh, maybe you've seen it um, at the PGA Superstore or your local golf shop. And you're like, what the heck is a wrist lock grip? Um, you know, we've heard of arm lock. We've heard of these other weird putting techniques what you know is a wrist lock and you know how can it help my game well the first thing i want to point out with it is that it has a very interesting shape here okay so it's almost like a pistol looking shape so we've got just the normal shape and then it kind of kicks out however the way that you install it is with the pistol part or like the, the back part we'll call it the gun that's why it's called the pistol grip is because it's got the like little gun shape here but uh you got this part installed that will actually go toward your lead arm um, and, it, and that's kind of where the wrist lock comes from it kind of rests up against your wrist um, you know and something that's kind of crazy is that this grip is usga conforming it works within the rules of golf um, you know you're allowed certain diameters and putter grips um, and this fits within those rules um, this grip is about 15 I'll say 15 inches long, um, so a little bit longer than normal, but that's just because you're gonna have a portion of the grip that does go up against your arm, kind of like arm lock. Um, so that's why kind of the length is there. As far as feeling goes, it's like that normal kind of super stroke, um, leathery feel. So very, if you guys have used like, you know, just super stroke 2.0, 1.0, same kind of deal here, um, you know, it being super stroke. Um, so something interesting about wrist lock. So the reason that wrist lock is interesting is because um, it works almost like an arm lock. The way that the butt end sticks into your arm, it makes it so that you don't have to have so much loft on a putter, but still kind of press it into your lead arm. And so if I wanted to, you know, make any, any putter wrist lock, you're not having to adjust it by four degrees of loft. You know, most putters are, between two and three degrees of loft. Arm lock putters are around, you know, six plus degrees of loft. So if you have a wrist lock, you're, you're only having to move it maybe a degree or two, um, you know, more lofted. And that's because, you know, when you go at a, at a dress, there's a little gap here in between your arm and the thick part of the pistol sticks into your arm. So there's not as much, you don't need as much loft because of where the, the butt end is sticking to the arm. Um, so I currently have tested this on one of my, my putters, one of my Bettinardis, and um, I actually have cut it a little bit longer. It's not quite as long as an arm lock, um, but it's not as short as like a standard putter that's like 35 or 34 inches. Um, and the reason for this is I kind of wanted it to press into my forearm, whereas like arm lock is kind of more up, not quite to the crevice of your elbow, but it's up a lot higher. And then standard is, is right at the wrist. Um, but what's really cool about this is that, you know, you can literally, uh, instead of having it super far pressed forward like most arm locks, you can actually play this one more in the center of your stance, um, which is, for a lot of people, it's more comfortable that way. It's, it's easier to look at as far as a putt goes to, you know, be centered over the ball rather than the ball super far forward pressed. Um, another thing, you know, not having as much club, it's, it's a lot easier to kind of manage and it essentially can work for most putters because you don't need it to be a certain amount of weight. Um, arm lock putters for the most part are around 400 grams. Most traditional putters are around 350. And the reason why you'd need that weight in an arm lock putter is because the shaft is so long, it just, it makes the, the swing weight correct when you are, I guess, arm locking. Um, someone notable that you guys have probably seen use a wrist lock is Phil Mickelson. Um, he uses it on his um, Wilson 8802 style putter, his Odyssey little wedge putter. Um, you know, and he's been putting pretty good with it. What it does is it really just kind of adds a little bit more stability without kind of fully committing to an arm lock. Um, you know, for me, um, you know, right away testing this on my putter, um, I found that 
the, the putts were directly on the line that I was aimed at. Now, you guys might say, wow, that's, you know, that's really good. You know, that's super consistent, which it is. However, one thing that I found was that aligning the wrist lock, because it's a different method of putting, it looks a little bit different than like, like lining up standard over a golf ball. Um, to me, it almost feels like in order to get the ball rolling straight, it almost feels like my I'm closed off to the hole and I'm putting across my body. Uh, and that just might be me thinking I might just need to get more reps and practice with it. But, um, you know, once I figure out the aligning part of it, I mean, this, this putter goes super straight. Now, is this something that, you know, I'm going to implement and throw into the bag as a gamer? You know, for me, I don't know that I'm going to. I, I still find there's a certain amount of, like, you know, being tense and stiff, even with an arm lock keeping, uh, or wrist lock keeping, you know, your arm straight that I just don't like, that I just don't feel relaxed with. Whereas, you know, different grips, you can, you know, you feel a little more relaxed and kind of centered off. And so that's, for me, that's kind of where I live with my putting stroke. But if you're looking to get something a little more stable, definitely look into a wrist lock. Now, there's different ways that you can install wrist lock. Some people can put it literally right into the wrist and kind of right where your arm bows over top of it. And then you could also put it up into your forearm or I guess the back of your forearm and use it as kind of like that little notch that's essentially a pseudo arm lock without it being a full on arm lock. So those are two different methods that I see um, with wrist lock. Um, if you do install one, you do need to adjust the loft. Um, the reason for this is you're gonna be coming in almost at forward press. And so when you come in at forward press, you're de-lofting the club. And so when you do that, you need to make sure that the loft is accounted for so that you're hitting it with the correct amount of loft to get the ball rolling well. Now, I think, you know, with that being said, someone who does press, have forward press in their putting stroke, something like a wrist lock might be a really good option for you and something to explore. But overall, you know, definitely a really cool way of putting, definitely stable, and just something you're gonna need to practice and tinker with. But Overall, I think wrist lock is really cool as far as innovation goes, and um, I think you guys should definitely try it. So, if you guys like the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up, subscribe. Brady and I upload golf content every week, and we'll see you next time.